everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. Last time around we went through the very Darude sandstorm on Route 111. And now we're in Petalburg City. And I have forgotten to speak to this person. Good day, it must be Emil. I've got a mystery gift here with your name on it. Here you are. We get the Eon ticket. What? Oh my! The gift you have is an Eon ticket. Yes, you can take a ferry to the southern island where the Eon Pokemon live. I heard that Norman, the Petalburg gym leader, knows how to take that ferry. We look forward to serving you again! Well, I don't actually think we've gotten up to that, that point in the main story that we can actually do that, but here you are. Does Norman, the Petalburg gym leader, know a secret? E <laughs> question mark? Exclamation mark? Yeah, does he know a secret? I don't know. But anyway, today we're going to take on the Petalburg gym and our own father, Norman. A man in pursuit of power! So anyway, I got Matang up front, and I think that's the... Yo, how's it going, champ to be ML? The doors in this room open when you beat the waiting trainers. Whoops, the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me! The trainers of Pellberg Gym use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The, the room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you're choosing the door, well, hey, go for it! Hey, go for it. So I'm gonna start off with the left. Yes, I do want to enter So you can kind of tell on what uh, What each room is going to be and it's looking like it's uh, The exact same as it was in the originals But I don't know if anything has changed, you know. Anyway, Randall and his Del Caddy right here. So let's do this So yeah, I got Metang up from because Metang resists all normal type moves so that is pretty great, I must say, so let's I run head everything. So yeah, these trainers will use X items. This is one of- so this was uh, oh god, that didn't do near as much damage as I kind of would have hoped. So as uh, the caretaker of the gym said, uh, every, every, every room has set like a speciality. This one is speed, so uh, the trainer will use an X speed. Uh, in the accuracy room, the trainer will use an X accuracy, and so on and so forth, so... Yep, 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 as Matang grows up to level 30! That is also pretty great. That was a magnificent battle! Yeah, it kinda went on a little bit longer than I kinda would've hoped. Now, move on to the next room, where you will find a new challenge awaiting you. At the left is a zero reduction room. The, do the right door leads to the defense room. And my throat right now is uh, not really the best. It has gone back as it was uh, a few weeks ago. I just feel it in my throat. It's been like that for a week or so. So I haven't really recorded a whole lot in that time frame. Unfortunately. But uh, hopefully it, get, it will get better a just soon. So here we go. We got all, ourselves a light noon here. So let's Okay, I get it. Get a quick light direction. Where? The guard spec! Sharded. Okay, well, that, that isn't going to matter at all. Oh, gee, these Pokemon have some good defenses. They're taking my hits really, really well. I'm not used to Pokemon taking uh, uh, Matang's hits this well. So, anyway, let's go for the Bull Punch. Take out the Lunu. Uh, I, will, I will face every trainer there is in this gym. Uh, so I will go through every room and whatnot, and Parker has been defeated. My Pokemon stats weren't lowered, but I still lost. Yeah, you still lost. Uh, still a, a big loss. Next room is a strength room. Can you withstand brute force? Of course I can withstand brute force. Uh, but I think I'll, I think I'll let the uh, pound handle the brute force. Let's head inside. Strength room. Hello, the guy. Our gym leader told us to pull out all to pull out all the stops to beat you. If you do happen to be the leader's own son. Even if I do happen Yeah, that's just a coincidence, you know. Anyway, we're facing Jody Foster here, it seems. Is Hannibal Lecter in here somewhere? I don't know. Is my dad Hannibal Lecter? I wouldn't be surprised, you know. So anyway, let's leaf blade everything. X attack. That could prove to be an issue, actually. If it does decide to get a hit on me. But that Leaf Blade does some good amount of damage. And Pan is actually faster than Sangus, and you're down. 
Well, that extra attack didn't matter at all. Thank you and good night. But I went all out. Yeah, but that didn't matter. That didn't matter at all. The way you handle your Pokemon reminds me of your father's style. Go on through the gym leader. No, your father is waiting. So is this the gym leader's room? It is. So I won't go in there quite yet because there's a couple of there's a couple of doors that I still haven't gone through. So I'm just going to go ahead and do just that. So let's see. I I have fought you, right? Yeah, I have. Yeah, the def let's head into the defense room. Let's see what the defense room. Let's see what the defenses are. Well, what kind of defenses they're going to try to put up against me. Anyway, Lori and her lie noon. So, here we go. Let's see if uh, Pound will do better against a lie noon than Metang. In terms of damage, anyway. Oh, god dang, god dang it. I went, oh, I guess it kind of worked because, uh, Mega Rain is a special attack, of course, and okay, that didn't do a whole lot. Uh, let's let's try the leaf blade anyway. You know, I'm I I have that uh, pretty high chance of getting a great colour. Well, higher than Mega Drain at least. Anyway, let's go for the leaf blade, and that does about the same as Mega Drain. And I'll go for that one again because Mud Sport. No, because I I, I want to get some HP back too. So here we go. Ah, oh, it barely lives. This will probably be the first opportunity. I would say I would rather a quick attack than strength, but you know, it's not really going to matter a lot. Come okay. Whoa, that did a lot of damage, and you stole my miracle tree right there. But that did a little bit more damage than I kind of would have. And that Lionel had like either one or two HP left. Jeez. Anyway, a level up on Pan, I will take it. Our defenses weren't enough. They def yeah, they def they definitely weren't enough. I think you've taught me a valuable lesson here. Go on, the left door. Already been to the to the uh, strength room, so I will head into the one-hit KO room. Are you going to be using Fissure and whatnot against me, eh? I'm not going to take it easy just because you're our leader's kid. I'll show you how horrible it is for a Pokemon to take a crit on it. Yeah, I know how horrible horrible it is, Berkey. To take a critical hit, and yeah, they're using the same Pokemon. It seems like the first uh, first room was Delcaddy, then there was Linoon, and then last it was Sangoose. I think that's how it's working. Anyway, yeah, dire hit, get that chance of getting a critical hit, and then Mega Drain does almost half, so I should be faster than this Sangoose. So Leaf Blade, good night, Sangoose. I'll cut your with a C. God dang it, you live! That, that is not supposed to happen. That is. God. And the critical hit even worked on me. Oh, dang it. Okay then, Barb. Get out there and do your thing. Cross poison everything. And it's there. Thank you very much. Your power. You're the real deal. I am indeed a real uh, deal. Your father really is strong. He's a trainer worthy of respect, and I sense the same brilliance in you as in your father. I hope you'll stage a terrific battle between father and son. So again, that's the that's the uh, that's Norman's room, but there's a few rooms I haven't I haven't gone through yet. So that one is locked. So I guess I have to head back to the. Uh, to the main, to the main room, just here. And I think there's three trainers that I haven't fought yet. So let's just go ahead and do that. Who do I have up in front anyway? I think I actually want to try, uh, try Bubbles here and see and see how she will be able to do against these trainers. Hehehe. <laughs> this is the accuracy room. I'm. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Or you could just have the no guard ability. Then you don't need any items. Anyway, we got ourselves a little Del Caddy here. Let's see what Bubbles will be able to do against it. Uh, let's see. Let's play rough. Exactly. Are you going to using 
God dang it! Moves that I really should have used. I had a X accuracy. I could have needed out one because I missed my play rough. God. Okay, okay, Del Catty, you don't. Okay, now that is just silly. I misplayed it three times in a row. It is a 90% accuracy move, so it's not like it's really easy to miss. No, it's not. But anyway, Aqua Tail. Ooh, that does some good damage. That is some good. Damage, jeez! You're seeing my, you're seeing bubbles asleep. How do, how do you even dare to try such thing? And then you're trying to wake her up. I mean, do you, do you even? Delcaddy can't decide what she wants to do. She just puts bubbles asleep, then she just tries to wake her up. There we go. Now you woke me up, and you. You're feeling my wrath! And you're down. Thank you very much. You were a cut above me, or I was a tail above you. There are even more fearsome trainers waiting for you ahead. I'm sure you did defense room and then recovery room. So, we're just going to keep holding uh, right here to fight the rest of the trainers in here. Just when you think you're going to win, your opponent restores HP. Such a terrible feeling. I think I'll let you. S I think I'll see. Let you see for myself. Well, you know what? I already. I already dealt with people like you for over seven years, aka gym leaders, aka elite four and champions, because they really like using their hyper potions and full resource and whatnot. So, are you going to do that too against me, or you're just going to furious fight me? Uh, let's see how much play rough uh, will do against this. Critical hit. Let's see how much play Rock will be able to do that. God dang it, five times and another critical hit! Jeez. Bubbles is just not having the luck today. Anyway, that play Rock did a lot more damage than that uh, Zen Headbutt or that other move from Mehmet Tang. How can I, how can I forget it? Uh, oh, god dang it, not summary. Check moves. Uh, Iron Head, there we go. I forget my moves. I got the moves like bubbles. I got the moves like bubbles. I got the moves. Yeah, because I can play rough and I can use my Aqua Tail. God dang it, bubbles. Oh, you're getting hacked to death five times for a second time in a row. Jeez. There we go. Line Noon is down. Thank you very much. And we defeated George. I couldn't restore HP enough. With attack power! Yeah, you can't handle the power of bubbles! What? Okay. Wait, I've already, I've already been in that one, haven't I? Yes, I have. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to head back to the Pokemon Center. I'm pretty sure I dealt with every trainer in this gym. So, I'll head back to the Pokemon Center and heal up my Pokemon. And get, get myself ready for the fight against my own father. All right to them. I'm all prepared now, father. I'm coming for you. And I decided I'm going to start off with Bubbles in this fight. So, yep, yep, yep. Bubbles will show you what he is or what she is made of. Scream room. And then the gym leader's room. See for yourself what Pokemon await you. Do you want to enter? I indeed want to enter. See, so yeah, this gym hasn't changed a bit since uh, the third generation. Hmm. So you did get your four gym badges. Then, as promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Emil, it makes me happier than I can really describe, being able to have a real battle with my own son like this. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything within my power as a gym leader to win. You'd better give it your best shot too, Emil.
So here we go! The battle against Norman, our own father, the gym leader of Pelberg City. Norman is going to start off with a slacking level 28 normal type with the ability Tront with the most retaliate, yawn, phase attack, and encore. Now, this slacking is a complete and utter beast. Now, it's only got two damaging moves, but retali retaliate is a 70 base power move. But, if that party's Pokemon is knocked out the last turn, it will boost up to 140 base power, so it's a real threat. So what I'm going to start off here, or I'm going to start with the defense curl here to, to raise up my defenses. Now he decided to use Yawn on me, which means that next turn I'm going to fall asleep unfortunately, but I want to set up another defense curl to get my defenses up even more. Now the fact that I'm fairy type and I resist uh, dark type, that, that makes it pretty awesome, but I don't know how well Bubbles will be able to take a hit from uh, from slacking, but I'm going to use one of my full heals to get the bubbles up to full uh, fighting stream. Yeah, here comes the retaliate. Let's see how much that does. Oh, that doesn't do a whole lot of damage actually. So that means the next turn it will uh, it will uh, uh, low for run the low for run again. As I said previously, slacking is a fantastic Pokemon if you can just get around. Uh, if you can just get around the whole throne thingy, and... Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, so now we'll continue to just set up defense curls, uh, defense curls for I think to... Uh, between 3 to 5 turns. So I will just boost up my defense to the maximum it seems. So that is uh, also a little bit annoying, I guess. So here we go, retaliate. That will not do anything at all, 10 damage to bubbles yet. Yeah. Now my rollout is also really, really powered up. There we go. My own core has ended. That means that uh, this turn slacking will loaf around. My rollout, let's see how much damage it does. And if it decides to encore me, that's no big deal. Okay, that doesn't actually do a whole lot of that. God dang it! Oh, that's kind of what I feared a little bit too. Let's go for the rollout again. This means I will fall asleep next turn and my... Uh, and Bubbles pow roll up power will not continue but it goes down so it's not too big of a deal actually there we go bubbles up to level 32 so here we go of course uh, Bubbles is asleep now and i'm going to have to deal with that next turn next up on normal's roster is going to be his vigoroth level 28 normal type with the ability of vital spirit with the most encore faint attack retaliate and furious vibes he goes for Retaliate, and even though that move was powered up, it did like nothing to uh, Bubbles, because Bubbles is just so awesome. So anyway, we're just going to go for another full heal. And the fact that this Vigoroth doesn't have, doesn't have Yawn, means I can just go for the rollout without uh, fearing anything. And that was a quick hit, and that didn't do a whole lot either, so... I'm not really too worried about this Vigoroth at all, to be honest, right now. Only doing 6 damage with its uh, retaliating. So anyway, uh, two more rollouts will be able to take it out, and then I will be able to deal massive damage to that uh, slacking if it doesn't decide to deal massive damage to me first. Oh, go for a swagger! But there we go, Vigoroth is down, and as, as I mentioned, Norma's last Pokemon is going to be yet another slacking. The, the, the diversity in its rosters is just through the roof. Anyway, Slacking, level 30, normal type, with the ability Truant, with the most retaliate, fan attack, swagger, and chip away. So instead of Yawn and Encore, it has swagger and chip away. And... Oh, god dang it! Oh, I didn't think it would do that much damage. Oh, god damn... Okay, that... That is really not good, but what I do have here... I got Toxic on Barb, so with this I will be able to put Poison on it. And I do believe that uh, Norman doesn't have anything to get rid of it, so that's absolutely perfect here. And then and then I will go for a Confused Ray because I am faster and this means that it might hit itself in Confusion, so I don't think Slacking is enjoying life right now. So let's see, Retaliate! Oh, yeah, look at that damn. That, that is a lot of damage. 
Well, that is also a lot of damage with the whole toxic poison thing. Uh, I would go into Metang. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's going to rest the... I could get a free switch into Metang right now, but... That feign attack, though, is kind of worrying me. And I think that uh, I will let Barb be out here until Barb faints. Or that the slacking actually goes down to the poison, because this poison damage will stack up. Yeah, look at that. that that's a lot of damage, so... Maybe even after this turn, uh, slacking is going to be, is going to go down. Looking out how much that, yeah, it's going down. Well, and Norman, you have been defeated. You have been defeated by the powers of Bubbles and Barb, the double B. Level up for Barb too. Sweet, me look. Ooh, that would actually be good for if you're trying to catch like a roaming type of Pokemon. But I don't think that it's going to be really that useful, and if I do need it, I'm going to get it through uh, a move real, the move real learner back in Fallover Town. So, if I do ever need it, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm happy with the moves that I got right now, actually. Impossible! Impossible? I don't think so. Your name is... My name is not Kim. Or that is Kim Possible. God, okay, that joke failed. Anyway, it was Mission Impossible, it seems, for Norman. I can't believe it. I was just cruising through that battle. I lost to Emil. You come this far. That's how it is, then. I will give you this. We got the balance badge! Having that bag is that is that balance badge? Is that is Ionite Soul in there? That's a reference for you. Having that badge will ensure that Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you, even if you receive them in trades. Pokemon that know the HMO serve will also be able to travel over water now. And this is my gift to you, Emil. I'm sure you will be able to use it. Well, we get TM67 retaliate! Retaliate will allow you to take revenge for a fallen team member. Its power will be doubled if you have a Pokemon. You sit the next, the very next move right after an ally faints. Hope you and your Pokemon will be diligent enough to use it wisely. <sighs> as the gym leader, I can't express how frustrated I am. But as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. Come on, Emil. I'll see you on your way. Let's get out of here. Ah! Emil! Mr. Norman! I haven't seen the two of you in some time. What a coincidence! I just came back to my parents' house to grab something I'd forgotten. You look like you've been working hard, Wally. It's clear even without a battle. R really? You really think so? <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. As you can see, Wally's health has thoroughly improved. It's all thanks to you and your father. You two helped Wally catch his first Pokemon that day. It's because of you that he has a partner of his own now. That partner is why he's grown so strong. That's my firm belief. So, I thank you. Yes, that's it. Sometimes words aren't enough. It, it would delight me if you would take this. We get HM03! Surf! Oh yeah! If you're clear to use Surf outside of battle, you'll you'll be able to cross seas with, with your Pokemon. Emil, considering how much you and Wally have grown, you should be able to handle what lies beyond the sea on Route 118 now. There are far stronger Pokemon and trainers waiting for you on Hoenn's East Coast. Continue your journey and your adventures there. I know you'll do your best. Yes, sir! I will do my best to become as strong as Emil, sir. I guess I'd better start out then. I'm off for now, Dad. See you next time. Um, come on, Emil. Let's go together. Wally, I look forward to seeing you and your Pokemon grow stronger together. Emil. Well, take care of yourself out there. Don't forget to drop by Lulu to visit your mother from time to time. Okay, we're off. Be safe out there. Learn a lot. Learn a lot.
I don't know what it is, but... Huh? Seeing my little boy all grown up and going off on his own. As a father, it makes me happy and a little sad. <laughs> what a coincidence! I caught, I caught myself thinking the same thing. Ho ho ho, is that so? But if only... If only my boy keeps growing strong, strong and healthy like that. I, I wouldn't ask for anything else. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. Mr. Roman told us to keep going beyond Route 118, didn't he? Let me check my area now. Yay, it's the one east of Marvel City. Emil, since we're both here anyway, let's go to Marvel together. I'm definitely planning on going to check out Route 118 like your dad said. Phew, it's actually pretty far, isn't it? All the way here to Marvel. So that must be Route 118 ahead. I wonder what kind of Pokemon I'll meet there. I can't wait to find out. I'll see you later, Emil. I'm going straight to run Route 118. Let's definitely have a battle next time we meet. It's a promise, okay? Hey, you can't break a promise. You can't break a promise, yeah. Don't make a girl a promise. When you know you can't keep it. But anyway, what I'm actually going to do is not go to Route 118. What I'm going to do is actually head south. Now that we have surf, there is a lot of things that we can explore and a lot of areas we can now go to, thanks to that. So that's what I'm going to be doing the next up upcoming episodes. So anyway, uh, yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing. Some side stuff until we actually go to Route 118. I'm top of the world! Or not really, I'm King Kong. Uh, I'm just so silly. Anyway, next time on Pokemon Omega Ruby, we'll be doing some side stuff with the whole Surf HM. And I think we'll actually do some uh, trick houses too. I think we can actually do at least two of them now. I don't know how many, but I guess we'll find out next time. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Good. Bye.